Hey, welcome back to my channel. I just realized it's been well over a year since my last video. We can see dividends for May of 2023 was my last video. And for the last few months, I've been selling options or at least trying to, to create some income. And I thought maybe now would be a good time to start making videos again, because I've been watching a lot of other people sell options and watching their videos and I find them entertaining and I guess inspirational as well. So hopefully I can provide that for you guys. And then if I do really bad, uh, that will also be entertaining and maybe not so inspirational. But yeah, I would like to regularly just document me trying to sell some puts for extra income. And I like to keep track of that via a Google Sheet that I have right here. And yes, this is a very messy Google Sheet. I wouldn't mind like creating some software in the future to keep track of this stuff for me, but for now it's manual. And basically it just logs every single put or call that I've sold, how much premium I gained from it, the expiration of that put or call, the strike price, if it is a put or call. This column I haven't really kept up with, uh, the assigned. So if I sell a put and it gets assigned to me at expiration, I'm supposed to put yes, and if not, I'm supposed to put no, that it just expired. Worthless, I haven't been doing a good job keeping track of that. But I have been keeping track of cost to close, so if I buy to close a put that I sold, I'll put that in uh, this column, same with calls. And then how much profit I gained from the premium of selling those options. And so far, this is the largest monthly return that I have made thus far, selling puts and calls uh, by far. And I don't expect this to be common, like a common monthly return. If it is, um, that'll be crazy, but I don't expect that. And I don't want you to expect that. And then for fun, I also have just like how much premium I've gained from SoFi because SoFi is in my Robinhood portfolio. And actually it's a pretty good percentage of my portfolio on Robinhood, which just a disclaimer, most of my money is in index funds. So I don't want you to think like I have all of my money tied up in puts and calls. So here you can see all of the stocks that I've sold puts and calls on. And mostly it's been SoFi. I've been running the wheel on SPY the S&P 500 ETF, Chipotle, a little bit of Southwest Airlines, Hims, and then I had one YOLO put that I sold, I'll forward as well, I think I've only done that once. But one YOLO put I sold that's not looking very good is Walgreens. Because <laughs> it took a big dip, I thought it'd be fun to try to sell a call, and uh, ended up going further down, so I rolled it, and we'll just see what happens by November 22nd. And then also selling some puts on NVIDIA. And I think I hit all of the stocks I've sold puts on. So if we go to Robinhood, you can see all of the puts that I still have contracts that I sold. And majority of them are SoFi. There was actually a lot more, but they were at a lower strike. So I ended up buying to close and just freeing up that capital. And I had like $8 or $8.50 puts that I sold on SoFi for next Friday. Because earnings for SoFi is going to be this week, so the premiums for puts on SoFi are actually higher than typically. And I had a lot of shares of SoFi that accumulated over the last four years or so, it feels like. Maybe it's the last three years. I ended up selling a thousand shares as it went up. And so I had some cash and I decided why not keep selling puts on SoFi. And then if it goes back down to these levels, I'm okay with purchasing some more. And then if not, that's okay because I still have a decent amount of shares. I have 2,850 currently. But so far, and a few shares of Chipotle are all the individual stocks that I own. And the rest of it is in VOO and SCHD. But we'll see what tomorrow does if these $8.50 puts that I sold quite a while ago end up going down in price. I'll likely buy to close these as well, just free up that collateral. So I guess this is the starting point of me documenting selling puts and calls. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully you guys find it entertaining, at least, like I said. Um, but so far, in the last few months, it's been a pretty good way of making money. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in a future video.